Well, Lori, it's been calm and peaceful around the nation's capital, and I should mention, if you hear a loud noise overhead, that it are helicopters, security helicopters circling overhead, so that speaks to some of the really heightened security around here. I got the chance to speak today to two of Washington State's key lawmakers at the Capitol, and that includes Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers of Eastern Washington. Remember, she is the number four ranking Republican in the U.S. House. She was at President-elect Trump's special luncheon today. She even got a shout out by the president-elect as she is a transition vice chair on his team. Remember, she was also talked about as a possibility for the interior secretary Pete pick, rather. She said that Trump talked about what he would say tomorrow, didn't give a lot of details, but said that he wrote the speech himself. I asked Congresswoman McMorris Rogers what she expects tomorrow between the inaugural festivities and the demonstrations. Take a listen. I hope that it is a, a time of renewal for this country. And to the protesters and those that did not support Donald Trump, I would encourage them to give him a chance. Uh, that that is, that is the way that our, our country has functioned in the past. And we have a new president, we have a new vice president, and we want that person to do the best that they can. Uh, I, and I believe that there's a lot of hope, there's a lot of optimism that we get a chance to really rethink the way we do things. Now, what do you uh, foresee as your role in your leadership position working with the president, uh, especially during the first 100 days? Right. Uh, well, we're, we, we've been putting together plans. We have a 200-day plan that goes from January 20th to August. It's very aggressive. It focuses on health care and tax reform as well as repealing some of the regulations that we believe have been burdensome and some that should have come back to the House and Senate for approval. So that's going to be our priorities. It's, it's very aggressive, uh, and so there's going to be a lot of work to keep us on schedule. And I want to show you some new pictures we received from Congresswoman McMorris Rogers' office, pictures of a reception, a welcome reception she had for Washington residents who have traveled all this way to be here for tomorrow's inauguration. Now, after tomorrow's ceremony, she will attend the congressional lunch and then watch the parade with her young children, three young children. I also got the chance today to stop by Senator Patty Murray's office. And senators, keep in mind, have been hard at work all week long around the clock as confirmation hearings continue to be underway and unfold. Senator Murray has been involved in tough committee questioning uh, for President-elect's picks for Education Secretary, Health and Human Services Secretary. Uh, she's been around for a number of inaugurations, now serving a key leadership role among Senate Democrats. So I asked her, having taken office herself in 1992, what she expects tomorrow. Take a listen to that. They're all different. Um, I, I know when I first came and it was President Clinton, there was excitement, people from all over the country. I don't remember it as well because I was new myself. Um, certainly when President Bush came in, um, I knew it was a different president and a different party, but there wasn't the, the uneasiness that I feel today. Uh, and of course, when President Obama was inaugurated, you could look outside my window and you couldn't see anything but millions of people. People were so excited. They came from everywhere. They had that hope. This time around, it's, um, it, there's a real sense of we don't know what's going to happen. And that uncertainty, I think, is just sort of a holding over everything that's happening here. How is it affect affecting work in Congress? Well, so far, uh, everybody's been just really busy working on the issues in front of us. Once he is sworn in tomorrow and actually has to send a budget, actually has to send proposals, um, when we have to have agency heads in place that we work with every day. I, I'm constantly in touch with the Secretary of Agriculture, or the Secretary of Transportation on issues important to our state and what we need to do. All new people, and we don't know, you know what they're going to be like. Are they going to be willing? to work with us or are they just going to be on their own? So don't really, don't really know. And as a member of Senate leadership, I'm told that Senator Murray will have a visible uh, spot sitting behind uh, President Trump tomorrow during the inaugural address. So you'll probably be able to see her on television tomorrow. I am also told she will wear something pink to send a message 
to President Trump about her support of Planned Parenthood. We'll have more of those interviews with both members, both the Senator and Congresswoman Kathy McMorris-Rogers, coming up at 6.30 tonight. For now, we'll send it back to you.